Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG menu anchor. I've gone ahead and created a quick example. Let's go over the parameters first and then we'll get to the example. The menu anchor itself has two unique sections, the menu anchor section as well as the events section. Under menu anchor we have the menu class. This is the widget that will be created when you open the menu anchor itself. Placement is where in relationship to the menu anchor itself, the placement of the widget will be. There are a few options and they all have tooltips with information. Under that we have our event section. We have on get menu content as well as on menu open changed. On menu open changed will file fire whenever the menu state changes itself. On get menu context you can bind to so that way whenever the menu is created you can go ahead and maybe do a check see if the player is in combat and if they are or are not in combat you can react accordingly whenever the menu is opened the content for the menu the widget is recreated that is something to keep in mind on get menu content will be fired each time you call the open menu event if we run our example you can see i have a giant button here if I click on it, three more buttons pop up and each of them can be reacted to appropriately. If I click the button again, our menu anchor closes. I have created, for example, a smaller widget called inventory that's simply a horizontal box with a few buttons and pictures on them. The actual event itself is in our graph called on click for the button itself. For this example, I am flipping between open and close using a flip flop state targeting the menu anchor itself. If you wish to open the menu, just simply call open on the menu anchor. If you wish to close it, you can call close on the menu anchor. And that's it. It's a nice, simple, easy way to have a pop-up that you can anchor to a certain position. Maybe you want this to always pop up to the right or left of where the player is, or maybe you want to make a, a custom hover over for buttons that are part of your user interface.